Welcome back. Looks like Oleg in Bolivia is erupting. Um, that's interesting. Let's just dive right into it because it's only known eruption is not even a confirmed eruption in 1903. Um, but here we go. We got ash advisory because it possibly erupted. If anything, phreatic. Um, but yeah, this is pretty interesting what's going on here. Uh, there's probably going to be some other news on this. Nope, just the ash advisory, and it's labeled as ash, um, ash advisory seismic activity, um, eruption warning. So this thing is, okay, so it's not erupting. There's this increasing seismic activity. There's no evidence of volcanic ash emission in webcam, uh, nor satellite imagery. Um, what? I'm confused now. Um, anyways, this is now Volcano of the Day because apparently it wasn't erupting, it was just being weird. Um, so yeah, Volcan Oleg, known as Oyahu, is a massive antacidic stratovolcano in northern Chile on the border with Bolivia. What this thing is saying, it's Bolivia. It contains its ascetic summit lava dome. No historic eruptions have been confirmed from Oleg or uh, Oyahu, yeah, Oyahue, but there is an intense there is intense fumarolic activity and a persistent steam plume emanates from the uh, from a fumarole on the north uh, south side of the summit dome. There are active sulfur mines on the upper, western, and southern flanks of the volcano, which are now which are serviced by a now di disused switchback road, which reaches which reaches 5,650 meters elevation, and is ranked as one of the highest in the world. More info, if at all possible, links will be in the description box below, including the ash advisory. Um. But yeah, I could say, yeah, there's been an uptick in earthquake activity um, over the past few days. So there's that. Uh, so it was warranted in that aspect. Anyways, the uh, Olehu volcano suffered flank collapse during the Pleistocene and produced a large debris avalanche deposit, which extends westward and separates the Salar de San Martin from the Salar de Olehu salt flats. Three youthful looking silicic uh, lava flows were employed after the eclipse, but are probably still older than the last glaciation about 11,000 years ago. A youthful looking soria cone on the, south, on the lower west southwest flank, La Perunita, was long believed to have been relatively young, but has been dated to an age of 420,000 to 680,000 years. No satellite imagery, and, well, like I said, the only recent news is the ash advisory that was issued today due to, um, seismic activity. So, it may start erupting for the first time in, in recorded history, it looks like. So, with that, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.